the new school year starting out, it can be hard for some students to adjust, especially if they're at a new school or just going through the ups and downs of being a teenager. Just this past week within our community, there have been incidents in our schools and mental health could have contributed to some of the issues at school. Rachel Robinson has more on what to keep an eye out for when it comes to how your kids are doing mentally and what you can do if you have any concerns. Rachel, what do you have? Yeah, Alex, that's right. Being a teenager isn't easy, and there are a lot of outside forces that can impact, impact a teen and their mental health. One scientist that specializes in studying the brains and emotions of young people has some good advice on how to make sure your kids are all right, and if they aren't, what you as a parent can do about it. Mental health problems can affect anyone, and with the growth and changes of becoming a teenager, sometimes they're magnified. Teenagers are going through a phase of life where they're starting to deal with things more independently. And part of that is that they are starting to uh, actually not share as much about their, interpers inper uh, their personal experiences uh, with adults and other people uh, as much as they would have when they were a child. Which sometimes makes it harder to know exactly how your kid is feeling. Often the young person will not feel comfortable or not want to share everything that's going on with them. Some of it they want to keep private. So the critical issue is to actually build uh, on your relationship with the young person so that it's the kind of relationship that they will feel comfortable to come to you when they are ready and when they need to. That may look like being open and accepting to your child so they feel comfortable to come to you and talking to them in a less formal setting about mental health. The concept of car therapy, which is the idea that sometimes when you're on a driving trip with your with your adolescent uh, in the car, it's a good time to kind of check in quickly and they may feel more comfortable in that environment. And there are some signs to look out for when it comes to how your teen may be feeling. If it's a pretty consistent sort of uh, flatness and down mood, then that's more concerning than the occasional down mood, which might be a little bit more normal. Uh, a second thing that I would uh, look out for is if there are disturbances to uh, things like sleep and appetite, that can often be a sign that there's a more serious difficulty. If your teen shows any of these signs, assure them that there is help. Really making them aware that there's a wide range of different ways that they can get uh, mental health support and care. And also, I think the other thing is to destigmatize these problems and to talk to people about the fact that everyone pretty much has mental health challenges in their life. It's a very normal thing. It's part of being human. Another thing Alan mentioned was that social media can help and hurt. It can make a sad child more sad and isolated and a happy child more happy and connected. And those feelings can go back and forth. The most important thing is if you believe your child is suffering from mental health issues is to connect with them and be open and willing to help. Alex.